here, our goal is to calculate the size of angle A. Notice that angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. This useful geometrical rule is going to assist us in answering this question. Again, angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Notice that we have angle A and ang notice that we have angle A and we have this angle that measures 126 degrees. And they are on a straight line and angles on a straight line at a common point add up to 180 degrees. And so that means if you want to determine the size of angle A, we're going to take 180 degrees and subtract it with 126. And 180 degrees minus 126, the answer is 54. And so that means that A, angle A, the size of angle A is 54 degrees. And that's the answer. The answer for angle A is 54 degrees. Let's move on to the next question here. Our goal is to calculate the size of angle B. Notice that angle A is 54 degrees. And also notice that we can identify a Z shape. We can identify a Z shape. Notice clearly that this is a Z shaped. And so here it says that we can often spot interior alternate angles by drawing a Z shape. And so this Z shape is useful because it can help us to identify alternate angles. And we already know from the previous part that angle A is 54 degrees. And we know that if we can, fi if we can find a Z, the angles on the inside here, this angle and this angle. So if we have this angle here, angle A, which, which, which is 54 degrees and angle B, these angles are alternate angles or alternate interior angles. They are inside of the Z. Indeed, alternate angles are equal. And so that means that if this is 54 degrees, if angle A is 54 degrees, that means that angle B is also 54 degrees. And so that means that angle B equals to 54 degrees because alternate angles are equal in measure. Let's move on to the next question here. Our goal is to determine the size of angle C. Notice that angles inside a triangle add up to 180 degrees. This useful geometrical rule will assist us in answering this question. Indeed, we already know that this, the size of this angle is 58 degrees. As for A, we know that A measures 54 degrees and C is the angle that we're trying to find. Notice that angle C is a part of the angles inside of this triangle. And notice that this is 58 degrees and this is 54 degrees. If we add these up, if we add these up, we'll get a sum. And, we'll, and in order to find out what C is, we're gonna take the sum of 58 and, and we're gonna take the sum of 58 and 54 and subtract that sum from 180 degrees. And that's gonna give us the size of angle C. Indeed, C is going to be equal to 180 degrees minus 58 plus 54. What is 58 degrees plus 54 degrees? That's gonna be 112 degrees. So angle C is going to be equal to 180 degrees minus 112. So 58 degrees plus 54 degrees gives us 112. And we subtract. So it's going to be 180 degrees minus 112 degrees. And so that means that angle C is going to be equal to, angle C measures to 68 degrees. And so that means that this angle right here is 68 degrees. And it makes sense because if this is 68 and this is 58 and this is 54, all of them add up to 180 degrees, which, which correlates or which falls right in line with or which agrees with our geometrical rule that angles inside a triangle add up to 180 degrees. And so that means the answer to this question is C is equal to 68 degrees.